let us discuss one topic which is called as motional EMF, which is coming under the chapter called as electromagnetic induction. And we'll discuss one previous year problem also asking NEAT regarding this. So first of all, what is the meaning of motional EMF? What is the meaning of motional EMF? EMF, you all know, it is an electromotive force which uh, creates electric current. Motional EMF means it is an electromotive force which creates a current, electric current. Now let us go ahead. Let us take a magnetic field and let us take one rod. This is a rod and surrounding the rod there is a magnetic field. Then what happens when this rod moves in a magnetic field with certain velocity? This is a metallic rod. Let us imagine this is having a magnetic field. Into represents that these lines are entering into the board, perpendicular to the board, into the board. Into. Okay. This is into. Means we have taken a symbol into also. Means lines are moving perpendicular to the board, into the board. What does it mean? North pole is above the board. South pole is behind the board. Behind the board, then only lines will travel like this. Now, when a rod sweeps, with certain velocity in this magnetic field, what are the effects you are going to observe? You know that this is a metallic rod having many, many free electrons present in that. Let us take one electron. Whenever this rod moves in a magnetic field, it sweeps a magnetic field with velocity V, then there is one force developed which will take individual electrons, each and every electron, take an example of single electron, in this on this electron there is a field there is a force which will bring this electron downwards which will bring this electron downwards and this force is developed because of this magnetic field and the velocity of the rod this force brings the electrons downwards all the electrons are collected downwards here at the downside of the, this rod and you know, whenever the uh, electrons are moving downwards, a type of positive charge is created upwards. When electrons are moving downwards, when electrons are given, what happens? Positive charge is developed. When sodium gives an electron, it becomes sodium plus. So here, the atoms present in the rod at the topmost point, they will send all the electrons downwards and they will become positive. And this positive will become high potential. This is going to become low potential. And this direction of the magnetic field is downwards. And now as positive is up and negative is downwards, one more force is developed here. That is called as electrostatic force of attraction between positive charges and negative charges below. Electrostatic forces of attraction between the positive charges and negative charges. Now, let us see what is going to happen. Here, if you observe, Force due to electric field is equal to force due to magnetic field. Force due to electric field is given by Q into E. Let us imagine the charge of the electron is Q. Q into E and force due to magnetic field is BVQ sin 90 degrees. Because this rod is moving perpendicularly to the magnetic field B with velocity and that velocity is also it is moving perpendicularly so 90 degrees have taken you know force due to magnetic field is BVQ sin theta force due to electric field is Q into E these are the basic forces and the formulas are already known to you now charge gets cancelled therefore Q into E electric field is given by BV E is nothing but B into V and you all know that potential difference given by V it is a product of electric field into length of the rod. Let us imagine the length of the rod is L. Potential is nothing but, you all know that potential is a product of electric field into length of the rod. Then potential, which can also be called as electromotive force, EMF, E. E, R, V both are same, which can be given by E capital E into L here. So EMF, which is called as motional EMF, the motional EMF developed in this is given by, you all know E is nothing but B into V. Instead of E, I will write B, V, I will write L also. And this is called as motional EMF which is given by B, V, L. This is called as motional EMF. Now, electromotive force is developed in this rod whenever it moves. Right side with certain velocity which is explained by right hand palm rule. What is right hand palm rule explaining? Right hand palm rule says that the four fingers represent the magnetic field B 
and thumb represents the velocity and the upper part of the palm represents the positive palm positive palm positive which is called as higher potential will be always upwards higher potential will be always upwards so four fingers i will keep in the form of, in the direction of magnetic field b and thumb is in the direction of velocity then the direction of aerial vector of the palm is upwards palm positive charge upwards will be always positive charge downwards will be always negative charge now if this rod is having certain resistance let us take here now one more diagram i will tell you this rod when it moves in a magnetic field it behaves like a battery and upper part of the battery is positive and lower part of the battery is negative and it is also having certain internal resistance in the rod which is given by small r and if you connect this rod with certain wire having external resistance capital r and this wire is connected to this rod now then what happens when this rod is connected to a wire we all know that this is higher potential this is lower potential current always flows from higher to lower in a slight cyclic path now so without battery without any power source just by moving the rod in an electric field in a magnetic field we are producing electric current and this electric current is because of motion of the rod through which motional emf is developed which is given by letter bvr so now this rod is behaving like a battery having emf e which is having internal resistance r so this is having internal resistance r this rod is having certain internal resistance definitely every metal is having certain internal resistance let us take that internal resistance as r and this rod completely connected to the external resistance capital r now the current flows through the small resistance and current also flows through the larger resistance let us take a loop like this if you take a loop like this then if you apply the kirchhoff's second law so anti clockwise direction this is direction of the current and direction of the loop is same so minus i into small r and this is direction of the loop is from negative to positive lower potential to higher potential so positive e again the direction of the current and the loop is in the same direction so when the loop is current is same direction we can write minus i into capital r which is equal to zero so switch of second law i have applied here then after that e is considered as this small i into r plus small i into capital r is taken right side so small i is capital r plus small r i is equal to e by small r plus capital r the current passing through this wire is considered as i is equal to motional emf by small r plus capital r okay so motional emf what is this motional emf this is taken as bvl by small r plus capital r so i got the current produced because of this rod as bvl by small r plus capital r now let me discuss once you got the current can you find out the force developed in this what is the force developed in this and the formula for force is b i into l sin 90 length of the rod current passing because of this rod and magnetic field b and it is making 90 degrees so i taken sin 90 So I can write force due to magnetic field is B I into L sine ninety is going to be one. I will substitute the value of I here. So force developed is B, and this is B V L by small r plus capital R into L. So F M is equal to you will be getting B square V L square by small r plus capital R. We got the formula for force. And if you want to find out the power developed because of this motion of the rod, how much power is obtained let us discuss about the power you all know power is nothing but work by time which is force into displacement by time and uh, force into displacement by time is taken as velocity then power developed because of motional emf is f uh, force developed because of this motional emf into velocity so the force formula is given here b square v l square by small r plus capital r into v then after that power because of this motional emf is b square v square l square by small r plus capital r so we got power we got force we got current we got motional emf then we shall discuss the next topic which is called as rotational emf based on which there is a previous year question you can just see at the last okay so let me wrap this one we shall discuss about what is the meaning of rotational emf so here i am taking one rod and there is a magnetic field surrounding this rod 
and that magnetic field is B. Let the length of the rod is L. And now this rod is rotating with an angular velocity omega. So this rod is rotating like this. When this rod is rotating with uh, this as the center and rotating like this. So when the rod is rotating, then the topic which we are going to discuss is called as rotational EMF. Anyhow, the formula for EMF you already know, it is BV into L. Let us take the smallest part of the rod, whose, which is taken as DL. And from here it is having a distance L. Let the length of the rod is from here to here is L. Now, because of the smallest part, we are getting a smallest EMF which is called as motional EMF. You can consider this as uh, DE. When E is equal to BVL, because of the smallest part, we can take it as BV into DL. So as E is equal to BVL, in the previous topic we have discussed, you can take small E, because of the small part of the rod, is BV into DL. DL. Now, I want the total EMF integrate from 0 to L. Okay, if you want you can take this part as a dr and this as r so that you can eliminate confusion. So bv into dr. We all know that v is equal to r omega according to rotational dynamics. v is equal to r omega. Now I will write b like that only. v I will write it as r omega into dr. So I will get emf as you can common out b omega integration of r dr limits are from 0 to l. Then here, you will be getting EMF, which is called as rotational EMF. Rotational EMF is nothing but B omega. This is R power, you all know that, integration of X power N dx is nothing but X power N plus 1 by N plus 1. Here, N is 1. So, we can write R power 1 plus 1 is 2 by 1 plus 1 is half. So, rotational EMF, the formula is uh, B omega R square. Based on this formula, there is one problem you can see, see, you can see on the screen, how can you solve this problem? Omega, you all know it is 2 pi f. So rotational EMF is half b instead of omega 2 pi f into r square. And all the values are given in the problem, just you substitute and get the answer. That's it. So very simple. Hope this topic you have understood well. If any topic you want me to explain, you just comment below. I will try my best to give some time for you. Thank you very much, baby.